All right, so get RK Paradise Fior. Let's go to the video. Let's see what this is about, man. Oh. There's a newly open video game arcade in the back of the King Wash Laundry where you can waste hour after hour of your Bro, I've been to like an arcade in like 20,000 years. Your family assumes you've been killed in a dreadful hitchhiking incident. Either way, they'll no longer have to do any of your laundry. It's a win-win. Oh my god. Well, we I hate that game in, in, in an arcade. I hate that game. Groups. We're just assuming that video game fanatics are as hygienic as everyone else. Come prove us right today. Today. No. Wash. We're flying by the seat of our pants to take the skid marks out of yours. All right. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> I love like the whole retro vibe behind it. Obviously, so the game was about uh, arcade VR. I never thought like in like a million years we'll ever have like this headset that goes over our eyes. And like, well, first of all. It is 2024, you know, and let's be honest, we were all were little, whatever, and we thought, oh my God, 2020, 2021, we're going to have flying cars, and we're, we're going to be, you know, jumping up like Michael Jordan, and, and you know, dunking on 14-foot hoops, like we're going to be, you know, going to Mars and stuff, I mean, which is kind of true, we are kind of like going to Mars and stuff, so that was true. The whole flying cars part, like, we, bro, like, we just thought, like, just crazy things when we were younger, right, that was going to happen in, like, the 2020s, but, um... To be honest, like video game wise, like we're, we're kind of like advanced in a way because, bro, we got like these headsets that cover our, that I said that cover, <laughs> that cover our eyes and stuff like that. And then we get to see like a whole new like reality, whatever. It's just crazy. So, um, virtual reality arcade, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. The arcade, I listen, bunch of scammers. I love the arcade. I haven't been to the arcade in like a year, but the last time I went, it was absolutely amazing. I loved like the basketball hoop game, but every single one of those games are scams, bro. Don't ever in your life, bro. This is one game to where the, uh, and I know I'm rambling. I know I'm uh, yapping, but let me just real quick. Oh, no, I, let me explain. It's this one game to where they have like money and like these like little uh, glass, like ceiling, whatever. And if you, uh, they're all like spinning on this thing. And it has like a long lever. And if you press it at the wrong time, the lever gets closer and closer and closer and closer to the wall. And whatever money is locked in that area that the, that the lever is closing in, that, that, that money is going to drop and you get that money, right? Bro, that thing's the biggest scam of all time, bro. That thing really scammed me for, uh, bro, a small loan of a million dollars, to be honest. But other than that, uh, th that was just my, my, little, uh, my little confession on how the, the arcade scammed me full of money so comment down below man what was your biggest first of all what's the worst game at an arcade uh j just to be honest just comment out comment that down below um of that <laughs> arcade paradise vr um so far just looking at like the the gameplay or just some of the gameplay whatever that kind of got everything down i've definitely played this game before um obviously the, who hasn't played the basketball game uh they got you cleaning toys and stuff like that and i think it's like another part of this game to where you're washing clothes uh, but like you're also like playing like a VR, you're also like playing like an arcade game as well. Why you're washing clothes and stuff? I don't know why this guy's washing toilets. Uh, this ain't Wendy's. But um, <laughs> but yeah, comment down below, man. What do you guys think about Arcade Paradise VR? See you guys later. Thanks for I'm out and bye.